our tail of the tape for this middleweight fight. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, buying out of the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, the former UFC middleweight champion of the world, and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Michael the Cat Bisping. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, the Axe Murderer, Wanderlei Silva. Ready to fight? Ready. Well, it may sound trite to say he got here with blood, sweat, and tears, but that is the book on Michael Bisping, the former UFC middleweight champion who realized that UFC title 10 years into his UFC career, plus skills in all areas. As such, he has become one of the best middleweights on the planet. Lands the front kick to the body. Now, nice work on the feet by Silva. All right, early action here, and a nice hook by the boxer gets home on the kickboxer. This is exactly the range in which he wants to be fought. Yeah, because it limits the kickboxer, and the kickboxer has a very high guard. So if you're tight, you just pivot with the hook, it lands a ball oh, the too. Oh! Huge kick to the head. He got him again with the kick. That was beautiful. Nice shot! rounds if we get there. Feet on the hips here. Bisping gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Massive head kick! That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he smells blood in the corner. Oh, huge shots being landed on both sides. Looking for that left, it's not there. Oh, nice hook there by Bisping. And punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing his shots together. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. Oh, shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Back to his feet. Two minutes to go in round one. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. That one snuck in. Nice strike. So the blood really starting to flow every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood start to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it's starting to take on him. Whether or not he's reaching for it, whether or not he's confused by where it's at. You gotta start to watch his reactions now as we go forward. So 
what a moment in this man's career. A huge finish in front of a capacity crowd. After party's gonna be on fire. How about it? I mean, I'm just sitting here stunned because to watch a young athlete have a performance like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. All right, the decision is inside the octagon. We send it to the veteran voice. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 41 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, the ex-murderer, Andale Silva! So the ex-murderer, Vanderlei Silva, gets his hand raised yet again. He's had a lot of big moments inside the octagon, but you can argue what he was able to accomplish tonight will go down as one of his signature wins. Vanderlei Silva lighting up this arena yet again here tonight.